Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, we're joined by Inchon, who is very happy today, isn't he? So today, we're going to talk about, well, some racing. Of course, this episode is the Racing Debrief, but it's a little bit different. Uh, the Racing Debrief this week is not necessarily about just what we've seen on track, but the whole weekend in general. Isn't that right? Yep. He knows. So, I went to the NASCAR weekend in New Hampshire. And oh boy, was it a fun one. So, I didn't been to a NASCAR race since 2013 at New Hampshire. Uh, so, this is the fourth cup race I've been to. I went in fall... Uh, 2008, and then I think it was one of the ones Joe's and I, whatever one Joe with the Ghana one, I don't remember if that was summer or fall, probably summer. Uh, I went summer 2013 and now summer 2023. Um, so I'd been to a few other races at New Hampshire. I know in 2007 I went to, well, it was Bush Series, now Xfinity Series. And truck series racing there. Um, but I did not go to Cup. So, I'd seen all different series. But again, I hadn't been in 10 years. And it was, of course, announced Kevin Harvick's last season. So I was like, I gotta see him race. My favorite driver in NASCAR all time. Um, I had to go see him race one last time. And, you know, there's only one opportunity to go to New Hampshire. So... We got the tickets and went. So I owe my parents, because um, they hadn't been since 2013 either. So we uh, we went on Friday. We drove up. We got a hotel, little resort, Crutched Mountain Resort is what it's called. Uh, very nice place. Unfortunately, it's actually closing in, uh, I think, August 1st. So that's unfortunate. But it was a very cool place. It had a, uh, it's kind of weird. It's got, like, a golf course, which is its own thing. And, like, a tavern restaurant, which is its own thing. And then you got the hotel, which is its thing. So, the tavern restaurant, absolutely awesome. We had a few meals there. Golf course looked amazing. Um, I wanted to play it. I I definitely want to get into playing golf. I think it would be kind of cool. Um, and, yeah, that course looked, looked really, really cool. Uh, but, yeah. So, there was that. And, you know, it was kind of a chill Friday, so didn't really do much besides, you know, drive there. Uh, did get to go to the pool. That was fun. I hadn't been swimming since, I think, 2015 when I last went on a vacation. So, <clears throat> it had been a while, but, yeah, it was awesome. And then we went to uh, the Xfinity Race on Saturday, so... The Xfinity race was really when we got to do all the stuff. Uh, because the cup race ended up getting rained out on Monday. So we'll get into that. Or rained out on Sunday and postponed till Monday. So we get to the race. Uh, it took an hour to drive there from our hotel. Uh, and the hotel was kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we were just driving on like dirt roads, back roads, whatever. Um, on the way there, we did stop, get some water. Uh, we didn't have, we had a bunch of bottled water that my mom had brought, but we needed more, especially for the cup race. It was very hot uh, both days. Uh, the Xfinity race day felt hotter, even though the temperature was hotter on Monday. Xfinity race, super, super hot. Um, so, there was that. But, uh, yeah, we stopped to get some water. We went to, uh, stopped at a Lowe's there. Might as well use my employee discount. Um, so, got a little cheaper. Got some earplugs as well. Um, and, yeah, we got to the track, parked, and we walked around a little bit. Uh, got to see all this cool stuff that was there. There was the Toyota setup. 
so you get to see that. They had some of the cars, cutouts of all the Toyota drivers. Um, then we got to go to the 75th anniversary section. I don't know what they call the fan, whatever. They had a bunch of, like, New England race cars, so I'm assuming that at each track they probably change it to be, like, local drivers from that area. Um, but it was really, really cool seeing the, the 75, the NASCAR, three-color line logo part. Um, seeing the trophy for the Cup Series, that trophy's amazing. I had seen the um, Sprint Cup back in 2009 2013 had a big sprint set up back then but you know to see the bill france cup right there that thing's awesome uh i mean i thought it was cool since it came out in what 2018 2017 2017 when it became the monster energy cup series so Seeing it then, seeing it, you know, now it's really cool to see the designs of the tracks and everything on it. Awesome, awesome sports trophy. So seeing that up close is really, really cool. Um, but they didn't really have much other stuff set up. It was kind of just like a, you know, healthcare setup thing. There was, you know, a little bit of food, some rides you could go on. But definitely not as much as they used to have, but... It didn't, it didn't feel like it was lacking in that sense. Um, so, yeah, my mom especially doesn't do well with the heat. So, for her, very hot. Um, so, we got her a cooling towel at the Toyota setup. They were selling them. Uh, so, we got one of those. You know, just get it wet, put it around your neck. So, we did that a few times throughout the day for her. Um, there happened to be, like, a, a Hendrick setup. It's kind of thing outside the track that you could buy stuff at and um yeah we uh we went in there and she got a different hat and a different shirt so i bought her a hat for the race weekend i got her kyle larson hat that said cup series champion on the front of it um and i think it had like a five and hendrick on the side of it so the thing was it was a camo so it's kind of darker hat uh so you know it's one of those things that she wanted something lighter so there was a white and blue hat that just said 2021 cup series champion in the front of it so she got that uh because you know it was it was cooler to have a white hat the thing was i had this hat which was very hot so i switched to her camo hat um and then she also got a lighter shirt for sunday which ended up being monday so she had a lighter shirt for that just because again it was very hot for her so, we did all that, and then we went back to the car, we had a little bit of food, and it was like, okay, let's go in. So, we went in, and we wanted to look at a bunch of, you know, the items to buy. So, I ended up getting a few things. I bought this hat. I got a Ty Gibbs hat. Very cool. Interstate batteries racing on the front of it. Um, uh, let's see, what else did I buy? Bought some items from my car. I didn't get to put them on my car yet because my brother has my car. Because his cars are broken, but he's the one that we need to have, uh, watch the cats while we were away. So, I don't have my car back yet, but once I do get it back, I'll be putting these stickers on it. Um, got a Ty Gibbs sticker. Of course, Kevin Harvick sticker, so... That's cool. And then I wanted a license plate holder because I kind of have some shitty one that's falling apart from... Oh, there was like a car event, car show that we went to back. I don't remember if we went to the 2018 or 2019 one. We went to both, but I don't remember which one it was. There was a BMW license plate thing they gave away. It just had a bunch of different colors on it, which is really, really cool. Um, my mom had one in her car, and then I had one on my car. So... She ended up getting one that said NASCAR 75th anniversary on it back beginning of the year. I didn't get one, but I did get this. So, this is going to look super, super cool on there. Um, so, yeah, once I get my color back, we'll uh, throw that on there. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I know what I got. 
I bought this hat. I think this thing's really, really cool. Super awesome. And I also bought a Ty Gibbs shirt on Monday because I thought about it. I was like, oh, I'll get the shirt. But I don't have the hair to show because it's drying. <laughs> it's hanging up in the bathroom drying. So uh, that's what I got. We had some other things. Um, what did my mom get? Oh, we got some pins. That's right. We got some pins. We had this. This says Cran 301 on it. And we each got one of these. So we bought three of those. Um, <clears throat> so my dad got one to put on his hat because he had a, just like one of those circle hats with like the little mesh on the top. I don't know what they're called, but they really keep the sun off your head pretty well. So, he just had a basic one. Uh, basically, my dad isn't into NASCAR as much as I am, or my mom is. So, we kind of messed with him the whole time saying he didn't want to go, um, and all that. But, he did get a few NASCAR things. Uh, that was one thing, so he put the pin on it. So, for the race on Monday, he had the pin on the hat. Um, oh, we also got the, the program car. Got that, bought that for my mom. Um, I don't think what else we got. Um, oh yeah, so we got the, my dad got a shirt that said track house on the front, had Ross Chastain on the back, because that's kind of the driver he's picked to root for. Again, he said that he doesn't really care nearly as much as when he used to root for Jeff Gordon back, back in the day. But, um, you know, he's got a Ross Chastain shirt, track house in the front. Ross just down the back of it. That's cool. Um, I don't think he bought anything else besides... Oh, he did get a Dale Earnhardt hat. It was like the Wrangler 3 car. And it said one tough customer on like a little patch. Uh, that's at the... Like the NASCAR Classics trailer. Which we did also get something... We got my brother this. Because he wanted like a 90s shirt. So it's a Dale Earnhardt Daytona 500 champion. It's got a pretty cool design on the back of it. And since he watched the cats, I, I bought him this Kyle Busch 3 Chi car with a little weed leaf on the hood and the side of it. Um, so, yeah, there was that. Um, I don't think there was much else that we got. Oh, we got my grandma the same shirt because we figured she'd like that one. Um... My mom did get a Sheldon Creed shirt. Oh, and they got a, like, 90s, so, like, 1990 New Hampshire and with a 90s look to it. She got one of those. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we grabbed? Uh, well, they had, like, a little section that was, like, cheap items. Basically, they're older items. So, they had a 2021 race program car. They had a bunch of those there. That said, um, Foxwoods Casino 301. So, that was cool. Obviously, Foxwoods is in Connecticut. So, I've been to Foxwoods many times. It was kind of cool when Foxwoods sponsored it. So, we got two of those cars. And I got a little metal metal figure from years ago. These are very cool. These are from... Who knows when? 2003. So I have a bunch of these that I had years ago when I was little. Um, I know I had the Kurt Bush one. I know I had another one, though. I don't know who else it was. Maybe Matt Kenseth? I don't know. But it's got the list of all the ones on the back. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. So when I seen this at the discount table... I was like, oh, I'll have that. Um, so that was cool. Um, I think that's pretty much all we got. Oh, we got some seat cushions. I wanted one at the end of the race. Uh, I was like, I need a seat cushion for the next race because those seats were very uncomfortable. The last thing I did get, my mom bought this for me. It's a die cast car. 
Now, I'm not going to show too much of it off because we're going to really take a look at this in a video next week. But, as a preview, it's the Ty Gibbs champion car. Yeah, this thing, this thing's awesome. So, we're going to have a video on that next week. But, um, yeah. So that was most of our shopping adventure. I don't think I forgot anything else. Uh, from the list. So, the race on Saturday, the Kennedy race. Um, I, the thing is, I can't really give a deep dive into the race because it's a little harder to follow at the track, I feel. Especially if you don't go all the time, you don't really know what you're watching for, like where, where to look, necessarily. You know what I mean? And it's hard to look at every single thing that's going on especially when there's a lot going on you're taking it in uh you know again first time in 10 years really looking at everything um and i was also purely just enjoying the moment and that, that's why i didn't make any videos throughout the weekend that's why there is nothing from it that's why this is the video talking about it because i wanted to be in the moment i wanted to just be there and enjoy it um that's why the diecast review that will be recorded here i thought hey maybe we'll do it at the hotel i'm like no I'm not touching anything video related. And I didn't. There was nothing that I did video related besides put up the burnout from John Hunter Nemechek winning. That's all I did. Video related. Friday till Monday when I got home. When I got home, I put up the Martin Truex video. But that's it. That's all I did. I didn't look at stats of anything. Nothing. Didn't want to touch it. I just wanted to have a time where I was just like, no. We're focused on enjoying the vacation. So I did that on the vacation when I was younger. I recorded everything. Especially 2013, 2014. I recorded so much. And especially in 2013, we went on vacation to Vermont. I recorded everything from it. There's 100, 200 videos. Just a whole playlist. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not. Obviously, I do it differently than I did in 2013. But I was like, nothing is going out. I'm not vlogging it. I'm not recording it. And even when we went last time, uh, in 2013, everything was recorded from it. There's a whole hour video. Uh, but, yeah, nothing from it at all. This is the video discussing it. So, yeah, the race in general, though, uh, the Xenity race had a lot of crashes, for sure. Um, it was quite cool. For me, honestly, it was awesome to see the cars in the sunlight, see them out doing their thing. Uh, in just, you know, perfect, perfect view, perfect color of it, you know, better than you're going to get on TV with a camera. Uh, we had, we had some good seats as well. We were in, I believe, section 11. So we were in turn one and two, a little closer to the turn one side. Uh, we picked that so we get a little bit better view of the finish line, a little bit better view of the pits. You couldn't see much of the pits, maybe first few pit boxes, but you definitely see cars coming in thing is that the seats in turn one and two maybe a little cheaper than the front straight but a lot of the action a lot of the incidents do take place in turn one because you know you'll have a restart you'll have whatever will take place a lot of a lot of stuff happens in turn one so good spot to be most of the crashes throughout both the races took place there race six race had a massive pile up on the front straight uh, which I wasn't necessarily watching because I was distracted by the truck backing up after the previous caution. I did see most of it take place. Uh, but, yeah, that was just crazy to see uh, the whole whole field pile up on the street. Uh, and then at the end you had Sheldon Creed and Cole Custer. Um, I mean, I've seen it happen. I did rewatch some of the videos after. But when it happened, I mean, it just looked like they were crashing the start line. You can make whatever you want out of the video if Custer took out Creed. Make decisions on that. I don't necessarily have a thought on it. Um, but that was that was definitely a good finish. The extended race with them crashing. Uh Hunter Jack absolutely dominated that race. Deserved to win it. So after that, we left the track once the race was over, obviously. Uh, filed out. And again, the crowd wasn't bad for Xfinity. It's kind of what you'd expect. 
um, filed out. Everybody, you know, did their thing. That's when we actually bought the, the seat cushion because I wanted one. My parents said, no, we're good. We don't need one. So that's when I, we bought the one that I wanted. Got the 90 shirt I was talking about. Um, and, yeah, that happened partially because it started to rain. So one thing was it was so hot. It was already getting kind of late. Now, we did have tickets to go to the Modified Race because it was a double header weekend. But, again, we had to still an hour drive. It was already almost 6 o'clock. We still wanted to go buy some other stuff first. That's, that's when we picked up some of those other items, like the car, um, a few other things like that. So it was 36. The race would have ended about 7 or 8. So we would have got back to the hotel even later because we got back about 9.30. And I'll explain why we got back around 9 or 9.30, whatever it was. Uh, but first, we got out. It started to rain. You could feel some raindrops. We were watching a lot of the haulers. A lot of the Xfinity haulers were leaving pretty much right away. Um, they were packed up and gone. So, I guess the cool videos of that, that was awesome to sort of look at and see them, you know, come out of the tunnel. Uh, and then it started to rain, though. So, it did rain pretty hard. So, as we came up the hill, there was a merchandise hauler, the last one. That's where we went in and stood there. And that's when we ended up buying the seat cushion again that shirt i don't remember if we bought the pins then or what i don't remember whatever there's a lot of stuff that we did and bought uh but yeah so we went underneath there and uh yeah it was it was pretty good just chill for a second walk back to the parking lot seen the rainbow double rainbow and actually the cool thing was you can see where the rainbow started and ended which is not something you necessarily was good to see so i got a really cool picture uh because you can zoom out on the phones, a lot of them you can zoom out or in. So I zoomed out, I got the whole thing. So that was cool. If you guys want to see some of these pictures, it is on my Instagram, which should be in the link down below. There's two, two posts. Um. So yeah, there was that. Got back to the car. I th don't remember if we ate that time. I know we ate earlier after because we basically we went down, looked at all the stuff, went back, ate, and then went on the track and looked at the stuff inside. So there's two. Two trips that time um, to the car. So, either way, we got out, left, and in Concord, which is not far away from the track. Uh, there was That's where we went to Lowe's earlier in the day. And we noticed, hey, there's a store here. There's a Panera. Like, let's go, you know, let's go eat something at Panera. So, we went and got some food. And I was like, okay, let's go to a store. I don't know, whatever. It's Market Basket. Never been to it. Uh, so, it's kind of like a stop and shop. Before they made it trash. So like early, mid 2000s stop and shop. Uh, went in there. You know, guy, we needed meat, cheese, whatever. Because I was like, let's just make sandwiches again. Because my mom had made hard boiled eggs so we can make egg salad at the track. So obviously we had all the eggs. So I was like, well, let's make sandwiches again. So got ham, turkey, cheese. Uh, man is in the squeeze bottle seat enough to scoop it out. Hey, look, there's a little mini squeeze bottle on here. Look at that, right there. Like one of those, basically. <laughs> yes, one of those. Uh, so that we don't have to scoop it out, you know, and mess with it much in the car. You can squeeze it onto the the bread. We got some bread. Got a few other things just to have for freezer item. Because at this point, it was looking like there's no race on Sunday. So we're preparing for there not to be a race Sunday, which obviously ended up happening. Um, so we went and uh, bought some stuff. Went back to the room about 9, 9 30, whatever. But everything away, and we were tired. Now, I got some serious sunburn in the first day on my head. As you can see, got it up here, got it here, and a little bit on my face. That was because I wore my hat like this. Because if you guys see in most of the videos, I always wear my hat backwards. This is how I exactly wore it. And you can just see right where the sunburn was. And you can see the side I have my sunglasses on. So right here, I was good. Everywhere else in my face, got sunburn. My arms weren't that bad. My arms got a little more sunburn on the second day. But, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of funny. So I just put a bunch of aloe on it. It's definitely helped it for sure uh, not be as bad. So, fast forward to Sunday. And it's raining. Now, we discussed, obviously, our plan. Like, you know, NASCAR announced the race is canceled or not. Like, when do we go? Uh, fortunately, they made their announcement pretty early in the day. I'm 
thinking it was 11, 11 or 12, they announced, hey, the race is canceled, we're going to the next day, which was a good call, because there was really no opportunity to get the race in. Uh, I think throughout the day, before it hit about 7, which of course they couldn't start the race at 7, because uh, New Hampshire doesn't have lights. So, I think before, you know, you guys can see Inchon in the background. That's important to see him. Um, I think before, like, 7, it stopped raining for maybe 15 minutes. So, there would not have been a window to do anything. So, obviously a good call. People were like, oh, it stopped raining. But there was not enough time to drive the track and race before it started raining again. So, it pretty much rained from, I don't know, 6, 5 in the morning until 9 at night, basically the whole day. Had some form of rain, whether it was heavy rain or light rain. Um, so we basically spent the whole time in the hotel. I just, I kind of like just laid on the bed the whole day. Kind of sucked. There's nothing I could really do. Um, so there was that. Um, yeah. Uh, we had to get another, oh, we had to get another day at the hotel. That was the thing. So we had planned for the trip being Friday to Sunday. Of course, we're going to come home after the race. Uh, fortunately, I thought I had announced my brother, hey, you know, if we need you to, can you take care of the cats Monday morning? And my parents would take Monday off because they're like, oh, we just want to, you know, be able to put stuff away, do whatever, before they do the work on Tuesday. Thing was, race is not going to happen. So, where we were staying, we were getting another day at the hotel. Uh, my parents just had to go and switch the keys out basically get one hotel key switch for another one because they couldn't add a day because the way my dad had ordered it or he bought it on like some travel site and not directly through them so it was different i don't know <laughs> either way had to go in switch the hotel keys and we're good you get another day so that was nice enough to find another hotel uh we didn't have to move rooms it was just here's another day so, yeah, there was that. Um, but, yeah, we spent basically the whole day just kind of chilling. We went to eat at the tavern restaurant that I was talking about earlier. Uh, and then later on, there was, like, a jacuzzi hot tub kind of thing. So, uh, my dad and I went to that. It was kind of in a weird spot. Basically, the place was that it had four buildings. And it was kind of just, like behind two buildings and not very far from the people's back decks so you could kind of look around their hotel rooms and have the windows closed it was kind of weird but either it's just nice to sit there for you know 10 15 minutes just all about whatever um went back to the room ate a little bit heard some wild owl in the woods and <laughs> went to bed so it, was, it was definitely a weird day um but yeah so we got up monday morning uh, we spent kind of that night. Oh, we also went to Dollar General that day to pick up an item or two. Which is the other thing that was cool, I didn't mention. Friday, I went to Dollar General, the same one. And it was cool. Uh, I just went by myself. Driving in New Hampshire for the first time. I had basically driven in Connecticut and a little bit of Rhode Island, which felt like Connecticut. Because you don't really know the difference when you cross over because the towns are like, weird um so unless you're going far into rhode island it's areas that i've kind of just been around so it wasn't different right you get if that makes sense but when you're in a completely different state three hours from your house or two hours from your house uh that was fun i really really liked it i wish i had my car on that road i'm not gonna lie a little windy road good straights put into shift mode take off Either way, went to that Dollar General, got a little bit of stuff, because I only had, basically I didn't bring anything frozen, because didn't know how long it took to get there, didn't want to have it in the cooler, and I'm, you know, thaw out. So, I went there and got a few things for breakfast, tap, because we were good for lunch, we had whatever my mom had brought, and whatever we were going to do for Sunday. So, we were good. So, I just went and bought a few items. And then when we went back on Sunday, I got stuff just to have for breakfast on Monday. So, 
either way, we went back and we took off. Again, we packed our stuff on most of the stuff for what we needed. We either had packed and in the car or ready to go into the car. So, like, I got my bag ready to go. All I had to do was throw in my phone charger and my Apple Watch charger, and I was ready. Um, so, threw a few things in the car. I think we left about 840 and coming back on Saturday night, we took a different route back. That's the thing. We didn't want to take all those windy dirt roads, especially at night when it was raining. But, again, going in there Monday morning, we wanted to make sure we were good. You know, we were ready. Um, and didn't have to go on all the winding roads to get there. So, we took the other route. It kind of took us a little bit more on main roads and highways. Yeah, I don't really know why the... Well, I guess Apple Maps just said, this is the fastest route. Um, when we loaded up Maps for Apple CarPlay, it literally said the dirt road path area was the fastest route. And it technically was, but you're also going on dirt roads. There was literally one where you had to turn, and if you didn't, it was just a straight drop onto another road. Like, it was a massive drop. If you went too fast, you're getting air. Um, it was a cool area to drive through, don't get me wrong, but... You know, you're trying to go to this event. It's not the route you necessarily want to take. So, you found this new route on um, that, you know, that night back. Pull it up on the phone. Went there. And we, you know, we didn't hit much traffic. Getting the track, it was a little bit. But overall, it wasn't bad. And, I mean, I felt like the crowd for Monday wasn't bad it really kind of just felt the same as the crowds were on you know races back in 2013 it, it didn't feel much different um so one part that i really did like i enjoyed having more of the um planning involved because in every trip that i've been on before this it's kind of all right we're going i kind of packed some bags and left Right. This is my idea. You know, I paid for part of it. I I planned part of it. I had the tickets on my phone. Right. So I had a lot of that going on. And it was kind of cool. Definitely fun to be able to just do that. And, you know, if I want an item, say, oh, I want to buy that. Okay. I want this hat. Cool. I'm going to buy it. It was definitely fun. Uh, but, again, we got there Monday. We parked a little further away just because they closed the north entrance. Everybody's going in the same way. So they're just trying to fill up the first parking lot that they could. So we got in, parked, walked the whole way towards the track. You could have got on a little tram thing, but we didn't really do it. We did do the tram on Saturday when it was very hot. My mom wasn't really feeling up for walking the whole way, which is, I knew it was hot because normally she's down to walk everywhere. She wants to walk everywhere. So she's like, I want to take the tram. I knew, I was like, okay, not feeling it today. So again, both the days, we have plenty of Gatorade, plenty of water, ready to go. Um, I drank so much that it, like, hurt right here just swallowing the rest of the day. On Saturday, I was like, ooh, like I was eating. I was like, ooh, that does not feel good. This is how much we drank on Saturday. Um, but we went, again, got in. There was not much going on. It was literally just going to the track because all the outside stuff was not set up. I don't know if it was just... Because of the weather, people had to pack up, go to the next race. People had to pack up and go home if they weren't going to every event. Who knows? So, but a lot of that stuff was closed. So there was one trailer down right before the entrance uh, that had cooling towels. So we bought two more so my dad and I could each have one. Seat cushions so my mom and dad could have one. Um, and then we looked at the line and it was like, that's ridiculous. Because we wanted to get there for driver intros. Um, which were at 11.20. Get a text from the track saying, driver intros, 11.20. Unfortunately, when we got there, it was 11.20. Uh, when we got down to the track. So, there was the entrance that was like the main side entrance right near the entrance tunnel to the track. If you'd ever been to New Hampshire, you know what I'm talking about. 
So my mom was like, let's go down to the other entrance. Because we went into more of the main entrance of the track where the main road is. There were less people because everybody had to funnel in the same way. Uh, so we went to that entrance the previous day because the shuttle took us to that spot. So same thing. We were just, you know, let's go there because my mom was like, hey, this is less busy, which it definitely was. So we pulled up, got in there, and uh, got right in. Very easy. Scan the tickets. Go in. We made it to driver insurance for the last, I think, top 12 drivers, I think. Uh, but that was cool. Either way, seeing that. Uh, then we kind of went up to our seats. So, sat there, first stage. And at the end of the first stage, I was like, hey, I want to get the shirt. Because I thought about it again. Let's go get it. So, my mom and I went down to the track. Because she wanted to look for some other items. I don't know, Ryan Priest or somebody. Yeah, it was Ryan Priest. Because she likes all the drivers from Connecticut. So, she wanted to find a Ryan Priest item, which they didn't really have much of. Uh, so then we went in line, and the Joe Gibbs slash Toyota slash 2311 trailer, whatever you want to call it. I just called the Joe Gibbs Toyota trailer. Uh, a lot of the trailer, it's kind of interesting because it's the first time I've been to the race where they had all the trailers for items split up by just teams. Because before, you essentially had, most drivers had their own trailers. It was kind of like one walkway, and there was another section. So they had all the stuff all the stuff so they had each driver had their own trailer um and then some of the drivers are maybe not as popular drivers had one thing and i think a lot of the you know some of the teams maybe had their own trailers i don't know there was a lot back in the day this time it was pretty much just each driver same with their team besides chase elliott who had his own trailer either way it was just interesting you know going in and seeing that split up, because I know they went to, like, a tent setup that they brought to every track for a while. But everybody wanted the merchandise trailers back, so they brought it back in a smaller capacity. Which made sense. I mean, you don't necessarily need every driver to have a trailer. So, they do it by teams. You had Hendrick, you had Stuart Haas, you had some of the other Chevys. Uh, you had Legacy Motor Club with Junior Motorsports, which I believe... Junior Motorsports was, like, really the only one that was just purely an Xfinity team that had their own, like, section of a trailer. Because most of the other ones are either also a cup team or not big enough to have a trailer. So, you had the Junior Motorsports one. You had um, the Penske trailer, the whole Toyota trailer, which was the six Toyota drivers, Joe Gibbs and 2311. Um, I don't remember who else there was. Those are the ones I remember. Oh, you had the, the track house one. So, oh, that's another thing we bought. We bought koozies. I bought a Ty Gibbs koozie. And then after the Xfinity race, my mom went and bought a Bubba Wallace one. And then we got a Dale Jr. Sundrop one that my dad wanted. So, there was that. Because the Sundrop car, very cool. The Sundrop items are cool. So, he, he wanted something with the Sundrop um, logos on it. So, that's what we got. Um... What else was there? Yeah, so we went to the line at the track. I was surprised because you always see online Toyota bad, Joe Gibbs drivers bad, 2311 drivers bad. We don't like them. Yet, <laughs> which trailer had the most people at it during the race? Yep, it was them. You, you guys guessed it. So we waited in line for a while because I was like, oh, we'll go to the end of stage one. You know, we'll be back in like. 15 laps we're back 40 laps later lap 130 actually it might have been longer because the stage was 70 either way we missed part of stage 2 nothing really happened got back to the seats and I was like let's just watch the rest of the race here watched out a lot of drinks uh, you know again very hot so a lot of water a lot of Gatorade those koozies got their use um Again, it was just a race dominated by Martin Truex. I mean, there's not really much to say. Martin Truex killed it the whole race. Um, Kyle Busch in the beginning had his issues crashing. Uh, not a great weekend for Kyle Busch. He uh, crashed in practice, crashed qualifying, crashed in the race. He probably wanted to leave New Hampshire. So, 
yeah, there was there was that. But outside of that, I mean, you didn't really have much happening. Uh, I believe it was the beginning of for the final stage. Eric Camarola crashed. He had like his. It looked like it was hard to tell from where we were sitting. A lot of people thought it was you know somebody hit him. Uh, but I watched that back later, and he just had the loose wheel. So he just had a loose wheel. Came off. He crashed. Um, from the lead. So there was that. You had a little bit of strategy going on with um, pitting late into the green flag pit stops. So you had Kevin Harvick doing that. You had Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon led a bunch of laps. Kevin Harvick led a few. Um, came down towards the end. I don't know if Gregson crashed right in front of us. That was cool. Um, and then the other side of the track, Christopher Bell crashed later. Uh, but, yeah, you pretty much just had Martin Trace dominating. Kevin Harvick and Austin Dillon started in front row, one of those restarts, and Truex was past them in the first corner, basically. He went in the corner, boom, right past him. A lot of Truex fans, of course, Truex is pretty popular in New England. Um, so a lot of people were cheering for him to make that pass. I was, I was disappointed, but, you know, Kevin Harvick leading a few laps, seeing that. Um, you know, special. I was definitely in the in the spot the last like fifty laps. I was just really. It was emotional. There's definitely just like soaking in those last fifty laps and being like, "This is the last time I'm going to see him race in person." All right. Which that was part of why we went. And I wanted to go to NASCAR. Races. I I would go to races every week. Obviously, if you see this channel, how much I love watching racing, but. Knowing it'd be the last time I'd see him race um, in person. I just sat there and just kind of watched his car go around. You know, I didn't really pay attention to the drivers. It was just watch the four car the whole lap, every lap. And, um, yeah, it, it was definitely emotional. You know, seeing that, that white flag come out, that last lap. And, you know, whatever... Whatever the other cars were doing, it didn't matter. I was watching what he did. And, um, yeah, that was that was an interesting emotional lapse there in the stands. But, um, yeah, he was close. Kyle Larson was close as well. So that was that was cool having both of them at the front, seeing them there. But no doesn't match for Truex. Truex absolutely killed it. Finally got his win at New Hampshire. So, man, I got some sunburn, though. Again, my hand a little bit. My arm's not that bad. Um, I had, again, I put sunscreen on everything. That's the thing. I had it on everywhere. So it must have just, you know, whatever wore off a little bit. Because I got it on my hand here both days. It looks like it's kind of going away mostly. I don't think it was that bad. And again, I, I got home, put aloe on everything. So we'll take a look later. My face is pretty red. It's kind of going away here a little bit. It's still a little bit up top, but for the most part, it's not that bad. The spot that's real bad is on my leg. I don't know if I can get my leg on camera here. Right here. Whew. That spot. That's tough. I got a little bit on my knee on the side and just a slight bit on my ankles. But again, I put that, you know sunscreen on everything so it must have been the spots that it wore off uh, but damn that spot on my leg Whew. that one that one actually hurts most of the times i've had sunburn recently got it a few weeks ago i think it was father's day we went to eat at a restaurant side outside got a little bit of my arms but it kind of went away the one from the race the only spot that also hurt was up here and i mean right here when i like moved you know, and I, move, I feel a little bit, just like, eh. But outside of that movement of my face right here, it's fine. But damn, that spot on my leg, dude. Oh, every time I move my leg, I feel it. So, fortunately, I don't have to work today so I can put a bunch of aloe on it throughout the day and hopefully get it to not hurt. Um, but after that, race was over, left the track. And uh, walked back to the car, made our sandwiches. We were just so hungry, it didn't matter what it was. 
My mom was like, I don't care if it's turkey. She didn't really like turkey. She's like, I'll eat it. Whatever. My parents didn't really like to eat meat that much anyways. But they're like, whatever. Cheese, whatever. Who cares? Just, we want to eat. Um, we got some, like, little flatbread, the little pizzas from Panera. Fortune, unfortunately, they didn't really stay that cold. So, there was one that they were able to eat and one we kind of threw away, which is unfortunate. But, we were there for hours <laughs> in the parking lot. Uh, so we sat there. So first thing was just, you know, let's eat, right? We're not going to get out of here and find somewhere else to sit and eat. Might as well just eat. So we sat there, ate, whatever, waited, well, waited an hour. Okay, let's leave. Cars lined up. Everybody's going for this entrance. So we pulled in and went really, 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 really far down. And we were kind of blocked in by some cars. We couldn't do much. It's just like, all right, well, we're sitting here. Fortunately, other people started to see there was another entrance, another exit that took you to the main road. Because basically, there's entrance down this way and then way down at the end where we came in. So, people seen it and everybody started going that way. Just a few cars, right? The whole row that we were in basically cleared out either into the line or going that way. There was one car behind us because the car next to us, they were being dumbasses and couldn't hell so we just waited for one car behind to leave once they did the second they backed up closed the doors seat belts on back up we're going through fortunately in spots that were muddy we got a super forester so we can we can go over some of the little bit more muddy or bumpy spots that would not have been ideal with my car or my dad's car but we got my mom's car right through it all and you know we were out back on to the more main road and probably, you know, whatever. It did take two hours in all from when the race ended to being on the road. But once we were on the road, down the highway, or, you know, down one of the roads, down the highway, whatever route it took us, stopped at one rest stop for, you know, quick go to the bathroom, get some drinks, and then drive all the way home. Took two hours. Uh, and we're back home. Got in. Just unpacked everything. And I think I went to bed at like 12.30. No, my parents went to bed. 10.30, 11. Uh, maybe something in there. 11.30. And we're back. We're back to what we're doing. This little guy right over here. And John, come here. Come here. Yeah. This little guy is so happy that I'm back home. My brother said that he was the most scared of all the cats when he was here. Now, my brother lived here for a while, so it's not like these cats had never seen him. I mean, Inchon liked him, but he just kind of forgot. And Inchon's gotten more scared. I don't really know why. There's just a lot of things that scare him. But. Um, yeah, so my brother said he was scared. And then kind of on like, I think it was Saturday. He sent me a video saying that Inchon was a little more happy. But when I came home, Inchon didn't really realize that I was here. But I put a few bags down. And then there was one I went to get, walk down the stairs. And he was on his little, we got like a little cat scratching thing on the floor. He was on that. He seen me, he ran, jumped up on the couch, on the top railing to get pets, and then last night he was just rolling around in the bed all happy to see me, so I was happy to be back and, you know, pet him and, like, can you not go on my box of things? You're good. Thank you. Of course, this was on the ground, so you wanted to lay on it. Uh, but yeah, that's that. That's the racing debrief. It's more like the weekend recap but I I felt like there's one place to talk about the weekend one place to talk about the racing it's the racing debrief so uh, yeah either way thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next one next week the racing debrief we have Pocono which may rain and we have F1 in Hungary Turner Daniel Ricardo. 
So, uh, yeah. One one quick little thing to touch on the rain. I hope it does not rain in Pocono. We've had Nashville moved up by the rain. Didn't actually rain. We had the race start adjusted. We had Chicago Center getting rained out. And the street race absolutely flooded with water for a while and shortened by rain. Atlanta, we had shortened by rain. New Hampshire, we had moved to Monday for rain. Four races in a row, and the schedule's looking like, at least Friday and Saturday from what I've seen Monday morning, looking like some rain in Pocono on two days. So hopefully that changes and we can avoid the rain like we did for the Xfinity race on Saturday. It was looking like it was going to be rain. It just ended up being cloudy and did not rain until that race was over. It did affect the modified race a little bit. We were leaving the jet dryers were going. Uh, but then I'm getting that in once the track was dry. But, hope it's in the rain in Pocono. Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one.